In this screen cam we're going to use the same common emitter amplifier and do a quick transient simulation. You'll notice that the supply uh, to this circuit has 5 millivolts. That's because we already know the gain in this circuit should be RC over little re. Little re, KT of a QIE, approximately 25 ohms. So 5000 divided by 25 would be a roundabout gain of 200. Let's set up our transient. I'm just going to call it TRAN for transient. Simulation options come up and we now need to set the run time. The run time is the length of time this is going to work towards. I have a 1000 Hz sine wave and 10 milliseconds will give me 10 cycles of that. Now I always start to control the simulator. The maximum time step size, if I set that to something like 5 microseconds, will give me an accurate sinusoid. If I don't, um, uh, P-Spice will sacrifice accuracy in favour of simulation speed. We don't need that. Let's click OK. I always click Save, and we're going to launch the simulator. Netlisting, and now we will have the simulator window come up. Simulation is running, and then we'll see some parameters pop up across here, and we're done. If we go back to the schematic window, we can now add traces to the window or to this schematic to see what we can plot. Okay, let's add a voltage probe. We'll have a look at the sine wave signal coming in and the sine wave signal going out. They're both DC coupled, they'll be sat at zero volts. Back to the schematic, back to the uh, simulation. And here we are. We have our output signal and we have our input signal. Inputs in green, outputs in red. Now what we need to do is to find out what these peak values are and see if we can establish what gain might be. Let's put the cursors on. Okay, we can see a cursor here moving across the screen. If you get it roughly on a peak and then press the peak button, it will actually find the largest peak value. So we now know that cursor 1 is at... Um, at this value, 4.9998 millivolts. At the bottom here, we've got two cursors on the green trace. I'm going to click with the right mouse button onto the red trace. So we've got a loosely dotted cursor. With the right mouse button, I'm moving that across the waveforms, and you see that the dots are moving around the red waveform. I'll now highlight the peak selection tool, and this says 251 Oh, sorry, 251 micro is the time for the 5, uh, five millivolt signal. We now have 153 millivolts at 1.7 milli. So we're, we've got a gain here of 153 millivolts divided by 5 millivolts. So you can clearly see that we've got a very good and capable amplifier. That's our brief introduction to a 